Hello everybody and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to take a look at the new iPhone 13 and more specifically its camera capabilities. We check out the camera's quality as well as the all new cinematic camera mode which I use to create a mini vlog style video which you'll see a little later on that samples the quality that this iPhone can produce. And I've got to be honest, I was blown away with the results. As a content creator that uses an iPhone 11 Pro Max to record every single one of these videos that you see, I was intrigued by some of the new features and functionalities that come with the new iPhone 13, and I wondered if it was something I should look into upgrading to in the near future. This iPhone was kindly loaned out to me by Vodafone to give me a chance to put it through its paces and let you all know if I think it's worth the upgrade or not. This specific model is the standard iPhone 13 in the midnight colour. It features a very glossy finish on the back and several improvements over the previous gen of iPhones such as better low light camera performance, a jump in battery life, a brighter Super Retina display and the all new A15 Bionic chip. I've got to be honest I'm not a huge fan of the glossy back as it is kind of a fingerprint and dust magnet but aside from that the phone is a very solid and pleasing device to use. As expected from Apple, the setup process was extremely simple, especially if upgrading from a previous iPhone, in which case all of your data can be copied across in just a few moments. But moving on now from the general iPhone specs, let's take a more in-depth look at the camera's capabilities. This iPhone actually features the same dual camera layout as with the standard iPhone 12, albeit the camera positions have moved around slightly. It's got a 12 megapixel f1.6 wide lens and also a 12 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide lens, however there have been upgrades to the lenses over the predecessors. Apple have upgraded the wide lens to allow for up to 47% more light to be taken in, allowing for images to look brighter, more vibrant and have significantly less noise than they did previously. This does come at a slight cost though, the camera bump on the iPhone 13 is pretty chunky and does take a little getting used to. As for the ultra wide lens, not too much has changed but they have improved it to allow for a better performance in low light scenarios without generating that ugly noise that we've seen on previous iPhone models. As you can see on screen though, when zoomed in 5 times the quality quickly drops. I believe this is not so much the case with the Pro and Pro Max models, but for the standard iPhone it is a grainy mess. However, more great additions come in the form of the Sensor Shift Optical Image Stabilization, which is a bit of a mouthful, but as you'll see later on in the mini vlog, the stability on this iPhone is incredibly impressive. This is because, as with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the sensor now moves to counteract your own movement to create an incredibly smooth and stable video. I took some shots on my short vacation to compare the iPhone 13 to my current iPhone 11 Pro Max. I found that generally the iPhone 13 performed better, offering more true to life colours compared with the 11 Pro Max's more washed out images with a greeny yellow tint. Moving over to the video side of things, the base model iPhone 13 can now record 4K HDR Dolby Vision at 60fps instead of the previous 30fps. However, by far my favourite edition this year is the cinematic mode which is available for all iPhone 13 models. This not only allows for the smooth switch of focus, but also the ability to jump in and edit the focus afterwards. For vloggers, filmmakers and content creators, this is an incredible addition to allow for much more creative and visually appealing content. Cinematic mode is limited to 1080p 30fps on all iPhone 13 models, but I think the trade-off in resolution is worth it. Here I'm editing a clip which I shot using cinematic mode, and as you can see I'm adding tracking keyframes in which the phone will then maintain focus on that specific object until you decide you'd like to switch the focus. I did have a few cases where the object wasn't recognised or tracked immediately, but for the most part it worked really well. There was also a slight issue of focus hunting in some cases, but the ability to edit this means that even if your raw clips are flawed, it is fixable in post-processing which as videographers would be aware, is a lifesaver. As for the camera upgrades of the standard iPhone 13, that is pretty much everything. As I mentioned earlier, I have put together a mini vlog style video from my short vacation to give you guys an idea of the iPhone 13's video capabilities, featuring 4K clips, cinematic clips and slow motion 240fps clips. Thanks again to Vodafone for the amazing opportunity and thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please consider liking and subscribing as it really does help the channel out as we push towards the 50,000 subscriber mark. I'll be quiet now and let the Bournemouth cinematic begin. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you in the next video.